One thing I love about hiking as, you know, someone that's coming from having been a cigarette smoker for years is that, you know, I can. Uh, um, let me back up. Basically, when I was a kid, I went to summer camp, like a lot of you guys did. Um, I went to this camp where we would backpack for two weeks or three weeks, and they would go to campsite, different campsites every night. We'd make, you know, our uh, our dinner in a little bake packer. It was called Camp Eagle Landing, or whatever. I don't remember. It was awesome. Great time. I went two summers. It was awesome. I was fortunate enough to do that when I was a kid. And that was like right before I started, you know, smoking cigarettes. Pretty much when I did that, probably right after that, this was, you know, freshman year of high school, you know, middle school, late middle school, early high school when I went. And, you know, that was right before, you know, I started smoking cigarettes at the age of 15. And, you know, I didn't go on hikes anymore. I was too busy getting in trouble or doing whatever, because I wasn't just smoking cigarettes, of course. And, Fast forward, you know, 12, 13 years later, and I'm, you know, 28 years old, and I'm sp still smoking cigarettes, I'm going on almost 15 years, 12, 13 years, and my lungs, <laughs> I mean, if I tried to go hiking like that, if I tried to go for a long stretch without, you know, sitting down, I mean, I couldn't even get up and down the stairs without, you know, gasping for air or walking from my car to the door of, to my office building. It just, you know, it's not something you can really do as a cigarette smoker. Not something you'd want to do as a cigarette smoker. But vaping is just entirely different. I mean, when we're talking about vaping, we're not saying that it's 100% safe. It's not 100% better than, you know, not smoking. It's not better than not smoking, but it's 95% safer than smoking cigarettes. 95%, according to the Royal College of Physicians. So, the damage done to my lungs over the course of that many years smoking cigarettes, it's pretty much been reversed. I mean, I can walk up and down the stairs, I can walk from my car door to my building, I can you know, I can run if I want to. I can do sit-ups and crunches, and I can do push-ups if I want to, you know. But, you know, and I thought to myself, you know, one thing that I really loved when I was a kid was going backpacking and hiking. So I thought I'd give that a try again, and, and being the big head duck, we seemed to be enjoying it. We're having a good time with it. We're having a really good time. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you, and, well, I'm in the motherfucking forest, peoples. I'm in the motherfucking forest with, a, with the big head dog. We arrived here about, uh, before 7, it was about 6.30 in the morning we got here. Uh, we caught a few shots of the sunset. Sunset, sunrise. Caught a few shots of the sunrise before we hit the trails, and, um... Here we are. This guy, who last time didn't want to take Blue Red, the Blue Red Trail, went down, I took him down the Blue Red Trail last time and he was not happy. He was not happy whatsoever. This time he wants to go down Blue Green. I tell you, he loves himself the Yellow Trail. The Yellow Trail is wide and he just loves that trail. But today he wanted to go down Blue Green and he's been killing it. He's been awesome. Um, He's been my walking buddy all day long. We've been here for about two hours now. It's about 8.30 in the morning, something like that. This is like our second or third water break already. <laughs> the thing about vaping is that, you know, we oftentimes forget that what it really does for us is allow us to lead a healthier lifestyle. And with that in mind, I decided to this year start getting out there more. Um, I started hiking, uh, hiking a bit, and I take the dog with me, and you know I take my camera with me, and you know I snap some shots here and there, the forest or 
you know. I want to go to other places too. There's lots of great places around here to roam around. Like there's an abandoned naval yard. There's all kinds of great shit to walk around and do here in Charleston. And I thought it'd be fun to uh, take you guys with me sometimes. So that's what we're going to do. I can tell you that as a former smoker, I could never hike like this as a smoker. That just wouldn't fucking happen, man. <laughs> I would be out of breath. I would be ready to have a freaking heart attack if I was still smoking cigarettes and, you know, trying to hike through the forest. That just wouldn't happen. It's amazing to be out in the forest and what, what do you see? You see something? What's that? What do you see? Is that a bird? Is that a bird? Is, is that a... What is it? What? What you... What you see? What? What is that? What? What did you find? What did you find? What did you find? It was camouflaged. It was camouflaged. <laughs> this is the, uh, the Charon. The El Charon box mod from Smoant. And I have been using this thing fucking constantly since I got it. You know, we honestly, I took one look at it and I was like, uh, oh, it's a C frame. It looks cheap. It looks whatever. No. No, man. It's fucking awesome. It's 218 watts. And it's got a layout similar to something like a DNA 200 sort of screen and all that. Uh, rocking it at about 150. 150 watts or so. It's a great vape. It's always reliable. It just hits perfectly every single time. It, there's no fluctuations in the power. There's nothing. It just goes and goes and goes until like the last five poles that you can get out of the batteries. That's when you feel a voltage drop. Before that, nothing. It's perfection and the build quality is awesome. I thought it was plastic, but I don't think it's plastic. It's something hardened. It's something very, very hardened. The button is clicky. It's a nice, nice round, big button. I like how it's bulbous. Like it has this bulbous element out front. Kind of like my camera has a bulbous element out front because I'm shooting wide angle. <laughs> and it's got this bulbous element out front, this button here. And it's just perfection. It's easy to hold in the hand. It's easy to fire. The button is always reacting. Big Head is chasing a bug. Get him. He loves it out here, man. Loves it. He's fucking getting it. <laughs> so the Chiron is a dual battery 18650. And for a dual battery 18650 to keep its charge like that and then not have the battery, you know, feel that battery drain when you're taking a pull, that's fucking awesome. That's a rarity. A lot of times you're va moving along with these devices and once it hits about 3.6 volts, you can feel it just like you can with a mech. Not with this baby. It's perfect always. And there's not much of a delay either. Like if I go to shut this off, it tries to fire for, at first. It really does because you know it doesn't sense right away that I'm trying to click fast like that. And me initially it thinks I'm trying to fire it. So that's how fast it is. It's not as fast as say the gene ship mod or anything like that, but or mech mod by any means, but it's about as close as you can get without being one of those two things. I have to say this is one of my favorites that I've seen from Smoant to date. I, I'm really impressed with it and it comes with a variety of colors and finishes and different sleeves that you can interchange on this thing. It's like a standard C-frame, very much like a zero box mod or something like that. The venting on the side is done in like this really nice netting sort of material. I really like that. Everything here has polish. It looks finished. It's a well-designed mod. The leather is, eh, it's pleather, it's fake leather, but it's a decent fake leather. It even has a decent smell to it, kind of like leather. They did a really good job with the finish on this device. The 510 is beautiful, the way that they designed it with these two sort of concentric rings there. And one thing that I really noticed and like about the 510 is that A, it's metal. 
that's always a plus, but B, and this is the big B, it's nice. It's not your standard 22 millimeter from what I can see. I mean, if I was looking, looking at it, I would say it's 24 or 23 millimeters in the 510, which is nice when you consider the larger devices that are out on the market these days. I like that it's a little bit larger. I like that it's metal and it's gonna protect the finish on this. And it comes in different varieties too, the Chiron. The Chiron has several different varieties, different finishes that you can have, different leather covers. And it also has like a, a metal body one that I have. And that one has a, that one has a pentometer on it. So it's totally adjust to taste, which is how I like to vape. The pentometer is not at all unregulated in any way. Uh, it still has the same sort of protection features that you would find what's oh, magnetized. Check that out. Ooh. It still has the same sort of protection features that you would find on any other sort of regulated device. It has, you know, short circuit protection, it has low voltage protection, it has short circuit protection, it has reverse polarity protection, all that kind of stuff. It just has no display and you use the pentometer down here to adjust your wattage. You know, it's labeled one, two, three, four, and five, five being the highest, one being the softest. So it's very adjust to taste that way and I can enjoy a pentometer kind of vape while remaining in a regulated line of devices, which I like. Fire, these all fire down to 0.1 ohms. I'll turn this one up to between three and four, see what that does. It's kind of perfect right off the rip. Let me turn it down to about two. Weak, wispy, no thank you. For me, you know, I'm a wattage vapor. That's all I vape in all the time is wattage. And that's all I want to vape in. I don't mess with nickel. I don't mess with temperature control, period. So for a wattage device that delivers accurate power the whole way through, can't, can't do much better, not at all. Turn it all the way to five, let's go nuts. It's going to be like 218 watts is what these go up to. Too hot. Too hot. Between three and four is a sweet spot for this build. And this build is inside of the Battlestar RDA, which was also sent on over from Smoant. And uh, I stopped in the forest along the way to throw the build on in here. It's just a simple fuse clapton build. I built it late last night, about 1.30 in the morning while I was packing everything up. I wanted to try out circles and
Not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. Got some hiking in. Got some uh, nice photos. Got some fun with the dog. Got to build an RDA. Can't put hands on it right now. I'm not sure where I left it. I kind of had to build it and then we had to go. We have to go now because I actually have to get back because I have an appointment to get my car stereo installed. Yeah. I'm gonna finally put some Bluetooth in this bitch. <laughs> it's about time. That's what I love about this place, man. I love getting out there, hiking around, because it's something that I couldn't do when I was a smoker. And that's something that's pretty awesome. Another thing that vaping has given me, the ability to move around without wanting to kill myself. <laughs> get some exercise again. It's not a bad deal. Don't die. I get to walk around and get some exercise again. Get some nice pictures. Have some fun with the dog. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. We were out there for about four hours. Four hours. And honestly, I can keep going, but I've got to get to that appointment. So, uh, hopefully when I get home, I can put hands in that RDA that I took the time to build. And uh, I didn't leave it in the forest. I didn't leave anything else behind. I'm a big believer in, you know, leave no trace. So. Anyway. So I see you again. And I also really wanted to try out this guy. This is the travel kit from Coilmaster. Sent this on over free for the purpose of the review as well. And uh, I've been itching to take it somewhere and try it out. So, this seemed like the perfect opportunity. It comes with everything that you'd expect to find in a Coilmaster kit, for the most part, except for, you know, your ohm meter. And the ohm meter I brought with me was the uh, 521 Tab Plus, the new one. It takes two batteries. Fucking love this thing. It's about fucking time, people. This is perfect. It's everything I've ever wanted in a fucking ohm meter. Comes with a tiny little pair of pliers. It's perfect. I mean, they're, they're good beefy handles still, so it's easy to handle them. And I also like that they have this little locking mechanism on them. Like they open and close just like that. I like that a lot for some reason. Don't ask me why, I just do. You get your pair of Coilmaster screwdrivers. You know, one flathead, one Phillips head. These are great to use too. I like the, you know, the rotating mechanism here. And they don't feel cheap like a lot of other, you know, rotating screwdrivers. They, they work well. You get your Coilmaster scissors. It'll open up like that, and then they... I, I never cared for them, honestly. I don't like the Coilmaster scissors. I always feel like I'm going to cut myself with them, like I'm going to open them the wrong way, or I'm going to stab myself with them somehow. I just am not never been a fan of them. You also get this little ceramic tweezer. I feel like the ceramic tweezer is a little bit too tiny, though. It works. It does the trick, but the first time I went to use it, the first thing I did was I pulled it apart like this a bit just to stretch it out because it was just too tight. It was, I couldn't even use it to... You know, tweeze my little coils, and these were, you know, six wrap, 28 gauge, you know, fuse Claptons. They weren't much. You know, this, it should have been able to handle them without me having to do that. So stretch them out a bit if you need them a little bit wider when you're, you know, breaking them in. I never use these things. These things that help you wrap your coils. I just, you know, I don't use them for anything. They're, I find them kind of useless unless I'm wrapping, you know, straight wire bills, and you know, I don't fuck with that. But you do get all six bits, which I think is awesome. You, know, you get the one and a half, the two, the two and a half, three, three and a half, four. You, know, you get all of them, all six of them, which is awesome. And you get this little bag that comes with it to put them in when you're not using them. It's handy. And you, know, you can also put these in there too. And when I first arrived, I thought, you know, honestly, I didn't think it would come with all six. I figured that if they were going to chintz out on something, since it's just a travel kit, it would be that. Like I'd get like a much smaller, you know, coil jig or something. But no, you get the full coil jig, which I think is awesome. You also get cotton. Uh, it comes with like two sheets of cotton, just like this. Decent cotton. It works. Coilmaster cotton, I feel like, has some pretty good flavor to it. I like cotton balls a little bit better than sheets, but. And the Battlestar RDA. Yeah, it's it's a fun one too, as far as. You know, simple RDAs go, simple twisted messes style RDA with a nice deep well and decent airflow system that goes up at the coil like that. It works. Good flavor, good vapor production. Anyway guys, I appreciate everything you guys do. The likes, the comments, the subs, they mean the world to me. Two more ways that you can help support the channel. I have a list of affiliate links in the description on every video. And I have a Patreon account if you feel like making a contribution. You guys are awesome. 
Till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Bay Bond Vapors.